project 42 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating a random code generator by just using html css and javascript so anytime i click on this get quote button so it now gives us new quote right here and it will also gives us the author name right here so if you click on it here you can see it will now give us like new quotes right here okay so this is what we are going to be building in this video so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our coder and write our code all right guys so welcome to the project 42 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating a random quote generator so whenever we click on a button so it will give us a random quote so to create that project first of all we have to create a new folder and we have to give a name of like 042 and i want to just give a name of like random quote and inside this random quote folder we're going to be creating three files the first one will be index.html and then right click on it and then style.css and the third one will be app.js okay so now we are good to go so now make it a bit bigger and zoom in a bit for html we are going to be writing like a doc type html and then random quote um quote generator okay so now let's link it with our css file and also with our javascript file so i'll just collapse this meta from there right click on it and open project in a live server so now we are good to go so the first thing i would do for html is i'll just create a div with a class of quote container so it will just contain all of our quotes then i'll create a div with the id of just a quote output okay so inside there we are going to be just writing a span and we are going to be just writing like a lorem ipsum so once we save it and that's that so underneath this span and this div we are going to be writing another div with the id of author um output so we're going to be just printing the author name in it and now here we just have to write a small and then author like so now let me just zoom out a bit so that we can see a code a little bit better so the first thing we did is that we create a quote container inside this quote container we have this quote output and then inside this quote output we have this pen right here and just this random words right here okay underneath that we have this output quote right here i mean like this author output right here inside this output author we have this small tag right here and then we have an author name right here okay so this is it about an html so now let's jump right into a css and start styling so the first thing i would do is that i will select everything so i'll just write a margin of zero and padding will be also zero now i want to just select this body and the background color will be just like ddd okay and now let's just write a text align of center because we want everything to be center display will be flex justify content will be center flex direction will colon and also we have a line items and it will be also center and then we have to just write like a height of 100 v edge in server file and this is how it looks like right now so the first thing we have is a quote and the second thing we have is this like author name right here okay so now let's jump right into our quote container so now let's just select this quote container so let me just pass the name of it let's just add a little bit of padding like frame and then position will be relative save it and this is how it looks like right now so now the next thing which we have to select is quote output right here so we are going to be just selecting that like uh, quote output okay so now here inside there we are going to be just writing like a font family of sans serif and then letter spacing will be just like two pixel line height will be 50 pixel and then font size will be 2 rem margin top will be just like 2 rem as well width will be 800 pixel server file and this is how it looks like right now okay so you can import a font if you want to in my case i'm not going to import any font whatsoever so we are good at this point next thing which we have to do is to also grab this id which is like oh author output so let me just grab that so I'll just write like author and then output okay output now inside there we are going to be writing a position of relative and then the margin top will be just like 5 rem and text align will be right and then just write a font uh, family and it will be now equals to sensor as well and then font size will be 1.2 rem seven and this is how it looks like all right so we just messed it up okay a u t h o r seven and now it's looking a bit better right now the next thing i'll do is i'll just select a span 
and inside that we are going to be selecting the before of their span and now let's just provide our content so i'll just write a content of this 21c and that's going to be fine now let's just add a little bit of font size to it like 10 rem would be fine and then font family will be sans serif and color will be just like um f b f d b b 1 1 okay like 11 position will be ele uh, absolute left will be 40 pixel and then uh top will be just 10 pixel okay and then animation we are going to be also providing animation for it so we are going to be creating this animation just in a second so let me just write the name of it like uh, a name and then one second it will take and then ease out okay so that's that so now let me save that so here you can see it will now gives us this quote right here all right so we forgot one more thing so inside underneath all of these divs and these stuffs we have to just write our button with the class of btn and also game id of quote btn okay and here as a text we are going to be writing like get quote and that's going to be there all right so now we have this button right here so now let's just tighten it a bit someone just select this um, button right now provide a padding to it to like 10 pixel and 30 pixel as well and now background will be background color will be just like f b uh, f d b b and 11 one more time and then we have a border of none and then we have a cursor of pointer seven and this is our button right here if you want to change the color like the text color so it's going to be looking ugly if you provide a white color to it so here you can see like it's looking a bit ugly so let me just remove this color from there and i guess that would be fine and you can change the ui if you want to and by the way um i, I don't know let me just write like uh this small text let me just select this small text right here like the author name so we are going to be writing like a span and also a small text okay so we are going to be providing animation for this one like a nine one second is out okay so now let's just create this a nine <laughs> or animation uh let me just create that so keyframe and the name will be a nine or animation and then from z opacity zero and transform it to scale zero to just write it like opacity okay so opacity will be one and then transform will be just scale up a bit like one save it and this is what's going to happen okay so that's that so now we are good to go the next thing which we have to do oh you know what let me just delete this quote from there i don't like that yeah i'm going to just remove that you can add it if you want to but in my case i'm not going to add that so i guess that's looking a bit cool anyhow you can choose it however you want all right so i guess that will be it for the styling so now let's jump right into our javascript and let's just add a little bit of interactivity to our site so the first thing we would need for javascript is the generate code button so let me just grab this uh code button and also we would need is a code quote uh output as well and finally we will need is this author um output as well so now let's just grab each of them so the first thing i would do is i'll just create a variable given name of like generate quote button and it will be now equals to document dot get element by id okay so we are going to be just providing like quote btn because we provide this quote btn right here okay and this is the id so we are just selecting that as id the next thing which you have to do is to just write a quote output and it will be now equals to like document dot get element by id and now let's just write like code output output and that's that because we provide the id of code output right here so that's why we are selecting it all right so the next thing which you have to grab is cost author um output as well so it will be now equals to document dot get element by id and then author output okay so author output now, so now let me console all of them so i'm going to just write like generate quote button and now let's duplicate it three times and then we have a quote output and then we have is author output and now let's remove the last one save it and open our developer tools the first one we have is, the, is this button right here and the second one we have is that quote output container right here and then we have an author name right here so we are going to be replacing that all right so now we are good to go so for that we can remove that console logs and also these as well 
let me just uh, remove these empty spaces as well all right so the next thing we have to just uh, write array so you have to just write const array of quotes inside this array of quotes we are going to be writing or objects of um quotes so i'll just write like the first one will be author and the author name will be like i don't know albert einstein and finally we have to write a quote like which kind of quote he said so we are going to be writing like uh, we cannot solve problems with the kind of thinking we employed employed um when we came up with them okay so that's the quote and that's the author name so i'm going to just zoom out a bit so that we can see everything a bit clearer so we are going to be grabbing these quotes from this uh side now let me just write the link of it so it will be https and then colon colon on www shopify.com slash blog slash motivational quotes quotes okay so if we just copy this link and if we go to our browser and if we pass that right here so we can get these quotes from there okay so we just have to duplicate our arrays right here and then just pass it with these quotes right here so here are 200 quotes but we are going to be just grabbing a few of them not all of them so here you can see we just have that first one so let's copy there and now let's replace it with this one okay and then we have this the author name which is that albert einstein so best this one <laughs> i also messed it up albert einstein name all right so now let's just duplicate it a few times so let me just um duplicate it maybe like six times so one two three four five six and you can just duplicate however time you like and then let me just copy this uh, you know what i'm gonna copy this one these are a lot of text so that's what i'm copying it and copy it and change this one to that and also the author name which is that and now let's copy it paste it with this one and now the next one we have is this one it's kind of a cool quote you know <laughs> all right so the third one we have is that one and um copy this one copy it and now let's just place it here so that's that next we have is um this one let me just copy that and paste it with this one and then just change the name to from albert einstein to this lady or whatnot and now let's just copy that and then just um place it with this one and also alter okay so i'm gonna just write this one right now okay so now we have two left so for that we are going to be just copying it so copy this one and let me just paste it right here and also this guy name copy it as well and paste it right here and finally let's just copy um i don't know I guess i would just copy this one let me just copy this one and i'm gonna paste it right here for the final one and i'm sure that i didn't mess up something okay so let me just paste in the name of it so now we are good to go and shout out to this spotify blog post as well so now we have all of these author name and also the quote right here so now let's just create a function and we are going to begin a name of like function let me just zoom in a bit generate quote so just write like generate quote and inside there we are going to be writing like let random and it will be now equals to come on equal to and then number dot parts and and we are going to be just writing like math dot random and then divide that by the array of quotes dot length plus one okay so this is the first one so now let's just change the inner html of this quote and this author names to just write like quote output quote output and then inner html it will be now equals to let me just change this one to span and now let's just change it to like array of quotes and now here we are going to be passing our random and then quote okay so that's that so now let's just close our span right away okay and now the next thing which we have to do is to also replace the author name to inner html and it will be now equal to this small tag 
and then this dash right here and then we have to just write array of quotes and it will be also random so you want to change the author and now let's just place this dash right here and then finally close our small tag and now we are done save our file and now let's just go to our browser and if you click on this get quote okay so i messed up something i'm sure okay so i didn't attach it with any of these buttons right here so now let me just attach that really quickly so i forgot to do that let me just get this uh generate button like generate code button etn now let's just attach or add event listener on it and once we click on it so we want to fire this generate code okay so not calling it but just the uh, reference of it so once we save it and now if we click on this get quote so here you can see our animation happens and we also get this uh, quote right here and we also get the author name right here so if we click on that one more time so we are getting the first one all right so this is now the second one and then all right this is the third one and so on and so forth right here so if you click on that so it will now just generate a random quote for us right here okay okay so this was a lot of typing and a lot of copying and pasting uh all right so now we are done with our projects so if you want to change around something so you can also do that by just going to my repository and grabbing this project okay so now if you guys don't know about get and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next one and if you guys do know about get and github and want to push your code into your github repository so this is what i'm gonna do right now so i'll just write like get status we have all 42 so we are going to be adding that get add everything and then get commit dash m and then just write like random quotes or quote generator and that's that and now let's just push our code into our github repository and now we are done with that <laughs> all right so now our code is live so let's just refresh our browser so we'll now just refresh it and here are our changes oh 42 random quote if you click on that so here you can see we have our html code and if we click on this app.js file so here you can see we have this app.js like javascript code and if we click on this style.css file so it will give us this uh, css code right here all right so now i guess that was it about tonight's video and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye